young fella. It took me near eight tenths of a mile to catch up with you. Do you know that? Oh, yeah? I didn't even know you was behind me, Deputy. You see your driver's license, son? Yes, sir. Right here. Would you take it out of there, please? Yes, sir. I was uh, making a delivery and the truck vapor locked on me. I hope it didn't bend no speed laws trying to catch up time. Is this your truck? Uh, no, sir. It uh, belongs to the ranch. You do the work on it, the repair work, Mr. Foyle? I expect so, yes, sir. How long has it been since you checked these springs and shocks? Rear end's near to dragging the ground. Oh, yes, sir. I, I can see that now. Sure glad you've seen that. What are you carrying? Equipment, you know, stuff for the ranch. Uh, well motor, uh, irrigation pump. Well, he's gonna have the coils rewound, you know? Well, what in the world? Son, why'd you ever have to do it? This is TV Land, home of the 1980 state champion. Who are you? My name is Stone. Al Stone. I'm here with your deputy. He's been shot. What is your location, please? Not good, Sam. Well, I kind of slowed you down, huh, JJ? Sam, I... No, later. Yeah. This here's Al Stone. He's an insurance investigator. Mr. Stone? He's coming around the corner there from the cotton exchange. At first, I, I thought it was some kind of accident, but when I got closer, I noticed the deputy was trying to crawl to his car. Thanks. How's JJ? Harvey Foyle from Walcott. <gasps> Better get him into the ambulance. And running gold from the back of that truck. I talked to him a little, but I'm not sure he knew what he was saying. He keeps mentioning a man named Kittenback. Near as I can figure, they both come from over at San Damien. From what he was mumbling, my guess is Foyle was running the gold for this Kettenback. It's all kind of vague, Sam, except for one thing. What? According to our account,
count on those gold bars. There's about $140,000 stashed in there. Not down yet? Nope. Well, I just won Ketton back in San Damien County. That's Lucas Ketton back. He's a mining engineer. He used to travel around in old wildcatter's truck sinking holes for uranium, silver, and such. He was running tough luck till a couple of years ago. He started expanding his business and built himself a great big office building downtown. Office so, building? Yes, sir. Ketton Bank Company. What's the company's business? Well, that's kind of hard to say. He owns a holding company that seems to have a finger in half a dozen different mining and petroleum pies. Take us six months to sort it all out, though. Prospecting really paid off, didn't it? Any, uh... Current mine claims? No, sir, not a one. He struck it rich without a mine claim. Let's see. It's a pretty thin string, Sam. There should be a however in there, shouldn't there? However, for a man his age, he has a remarkably fine, fine physique. physique. Yeah. Thanks. Better get out of here, Sam. Okay. Our boy Foyle copped out on us. He did? Yeah. He said, well, the routine procedure would be to notify the Treasury Department and then turn the case over to the sheriff at San Damien. But, uh... Yeah. Say that four paid for it. Still an old deputy shot, J.J. And what about all them others behind it? Cool it, Arnold. And jurisdiction or no jurisdiction, dang if I don't want to handle it personally. Well, he's dead. Oh, well, I, I guess that settles that. Well, I mean, uh, Sheriff, you don't want me for anything else, I guess I'll just be gone. Now, Mr. Stone, you know, the, the newspapers are going to say that you found two men wounded. You talked to one of them, a fellow by the name of, of Foil, right? He didn't say anything to me. Nobody else knows that. You had about 15 minutes with him. Now, suppose he said something to you that kind of stuck right in your mind here. Hey, and then wait, suppose you made a tape recording of that conversation. I mean, that's something a pro like you'd be apt to do. Yeah, think. but what would be the point? Well, I just kind of wondering how you'd feel if we made you a... Uh, a real heel for maybe one or two days. I can see it coming. Oh, no, 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 you don't have to do anything. I'll do it all. Well, thanks. But if I follow you, Sheriff, you're suggesting you'd be me and go down to San Damien and try to shake down the money tree. How well are you known in San Damien? I don't even know where the place is. What about you, Sam? Well, me, I've been there in the last 10 years. Sheriff, I don't like it. Oh, no, sir. I'm sorry. What would you do if somebody in your organization got shot? Yes. Uh, sundown, get me uh, Sheriff Packer, San Damien Sheriff's Office, will you? Yes, sir. You're being a little uptight. I mean, after all, losing foil and $140,000 in gold. I mean, that thing you said about not needing friends, that's not true, man. You need a friend bad. Is that a fact? No, it's a fact. You want to know something? If there was one time in your life, you better not be stupid. It's right now. Who are you? 
Ralph Stone, insurance investigator. You sit down, let me buy you a drink. What do you have? Scotch. Uh, two scotch, please. Well, Lucas, I'll bet a dollar to 25,000 I can have you in a state pen inside of two months. Mr. Stone, what are you talking about? Oh, I thought you might have, uh, I thought you might have read it in the paper. I found the two of them. Two of who? Foyle, he was quite a talker. And, uh, you know something? I took down everything he said on my tape recorder. the whole thing down on tape about you and the gold operation. And that tape is on its way to Los Angeles right about now. I may have met Foyle once or twice, I don't know, but uh, I never had any business dealings with him. Wow, well, just think, Lucas, how the whole deal would come to a stop because you had a chance and blew it. What would your partners say? What partners? Are you trying to blackmail me? Yep. I'll give you four hours to come up with the $25,000. No way. Well, one thing. If that deputy dies, I'll make another bet. I'll bet that I can rig it that you will be charged with being an accessory. Talk to your friends. Increase him another 500,000 units of penicillin. Hello. Yes, Does JJ have any family? Well, he's got some nieces and nephews. I mean, they're not around here anywhere. Mm. Is he close to any of them? Not exactly. I mean... I mean, like, we're more family to him. You know, Sam, Pete, Rudy, me. Come on outside, man. Harlow, you might want to call Sam over here. You mean, Jade, he can go. He's very weak, Harlow. He took a bullet in the lung. That can be very tough, even for a young man like you. When you're his age, it's touch and go. Okay, come on. See that, George? There's no such thing as $25,000. Okay. But, uh, I go along with you anyway. They want to see you. They say uh, they'll try to work something out. No, no thanks. No, no 25000 no talk. You blew it.
Benbach said you wanted it in the worst way. This is the worst way. Sit back and relax. You're in TV land. This is not your average scene from All in the Family. Everyone's getting along. There are no political arguments, no contentious accusations, no emotional outbursts, and no name-calling. It's very pleasant. It's also very boring. Hey, you don't don't mind mind you're pregnant! You're pregnant! Ah, that's more like it. Watch All in the Family every night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, only in TV land. My name. Always ask for the AC. No response to the page? I see. No, no, thanks. I've already left several messages today. Um. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Sheriff's still not back. Should have called right away. Right when that doctor said something about calling Sam. It about time to call that hospital? Uh, they said to check at midnight. It's only 11.15, Arlo. Oh. Reckon that doctor's really first rate, Rudy? Best surgeon in the Southwest, you know that. Kettenback recognizes him. Kettenback? Yeah, Kettenback. What if he gets on to who he is? You mean who Sam is? Of course I mean Sam Sundown. Well, why don't you try to get yourself some sleep? I'll call you if we hear anything. Now I'm gonna take a little ride down to that hospital. They might let me in. I'm both to worry about. I'm Judy. Al Stone. I'm the bookkeeper. Oh. Well, I, I guess every place needs a bookkeeper. You don't look so hot. What do you mean I don't look so hot? I'm fine. I'm... Boys here are a good bunch. They're forever bringing in strays. Sometimes I get to think I'm not the bookkeeper at all, but the resident nurse. What happened? Bumpy roads in a very small back trunk. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, how about that? My politeness. Charming. Where are we? Oh, you know, the old homestead. Up the San Damian Mountains over there, aren't they? Could be the San Andreas Fault, for all I know. Don't. Inside. Well, what makes you think you can get away with it? Stone, mm -hmm. I'm only interested in you because nobody lays an arm on a friend of mine. Nobody tries a shakedown. I suppose they do, and what happens? You can find out. Oh, no. Nope. Even if you were to bury me 40 feet deep, there'd be too much left behind. Why don't you try listening for once, Stone? You might learn something. Hey, how'd you get yourself in this position? I mean, you look a lot smarter than this character here. I am smarter. You want a demonstration? Yeah. A guy dies blabbering, you say. Mm -hmm. You got a tape. Even if you're not bluffing, where does the tape lead? Only to Lucas, nobody else. For sure not to me. What is the tape, anyhow? Unsupported accusation, hearsay. Right. And then they go to this Lucas here and they find this tower of strength and all the questions they ask about you, about the company, he doesn't break. Oh, this tower of strength, oh, he's something. There's no 25,000, so get that out of your head. You know, there's something wrong with your operation. Is that a fact? I mean, after all, sending out $140,000 in gold in a farm truck. You've got a better idea, right? 
You see, I've got insurance clients, contacts in every kind of shipping and transportation there is. I've got a cover you people couldn't even begin to match. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Maybe we can cut you in. If we can find a way we own you. Think about it. See what you can come up with. It's your problem. Okay. Hold it. Now, wait a minute. If you don't want that tape broadcast, you better let me call my office. I was expected there an hour ago. What's the number? That's area code 213-555-931. Listen, I got hung up here. I, I won't be in uh, until probably late today. In fact, I may not be in until tomorrow, okay? Uh, that's all right. Uh, how do you want me to handle the tape? Put it in the safe. Uh, what do you have down for me today? Well, uh, you were supposed to uh, call Hendricks. Oh, I'll let that go. Uh, uh, what else about the um, Jackson account? Well, the, that account is pretty shaky. Uh, we'll know today. I see. And, uh, listen, will you call Ken Lewis? Tell him I saw the car and it's totaled. It's, uh, 59. We'll allow 400 even. All right, got it. Well, I guess that's about it. There's a staff meeting tomorrow, but I guess, uh, you won't make that. No, I'll try to make it, okay? Ken Lewis. K.L. Deputy Pritchard, Arlo, Al Stone. Hi, Mr. Stone, what'd you hear? K. just called. Dad, Bummer. What's all this concert cellophane for? It's an oxygen tent, J.J. Now, why don't you just take it easy, huh? What about the boy in the warehouse? He bad off? Well, uh... Didn't die, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid he did, J.J. Never needed to have happened. Boy, shouldn't have... I expect Sam's out working or over at the office. No, uh, no, he's in San Damien, J.J. He, uh, he got a lead on that gold shipment. Hmm. It was mighty smart of him not to waste his time hanging around here. Ain't no need for nothing. You know, he has been calling in, J.J. He's been asking about you. Yeah. What about you? You got nothing else to do? Just take off when you please and sit around? It is my own time, J.J. I signed out. Is that right? Harlow. He's still visiting that new girl over at Carterville? No, no. He's been here, too. Almost all day yesterday and most of the night. You don't say. It's a dumb thing to do. Beautiful country, isn't it? I'm sure you didn't bring me out here to admire the scenery. You know, I like you, Stone. The way you sit there, all composed, like nobody could shake you up. I think you can be shook. It's possible, but I wouldn't want you to go to the trouble of trying to prove it. You know, you're an interesting guy. I mean, you go along for years, and then suddenly you go on the take. Now, why is that? What makes you think it's suddenly? What, you mean you've been through this routine before? Yeah. Huh? When? Give me a name. Some other shakedown. Oh, they wouldn't check, huh? They're all too solid. I want to know. I got partners. They want to know. Ollie Myers, he's doing one to three instead of ten to twenty because some evidence I didn't give to the DA. Myers? Huh. 
country. Yeah. He can drive for days and it's all his. Who's? The owner. <laughs> See what they got these guys? It's a platform. A money platform. That's what you gotta have. And today, what am I doing? I'm ramrodding for these guys, this gold operation. But tomorrow, the next year, my own operation, my own land, my own private plane, the whole shot, all for me. Hey, Stone, get out of the Jeep. You know, uh, this owner you're talking about, I'm gonna have to meet him. You're gonna what? Uh, I'm gonna have to meet him. He's checking me out. I'd like some guarantees myself. I'd like him to see who I am, what I'm worth to him. Do you expect him to come out here? Those are my conditions. Oh, ho, ho, ho. funny. Tell him, Maury. I mean it. You really believe I'll tell him? Hey, come here. This where I get shook up? You in the Army Stone? Maybe. Same thing. Good part of the deal was you found out what you could do. You know what I found? What did you find, Maury? I found I could make a man do almost anything I wanted him to do. If I put my mind to it. We'll be calling around, Stone. In the meantime, you can just look on the next few hours as sort of a, a reset. <laughs> Listen. You want to make a break for it? Nearest water is 50 miles that way. Uh, highway over here is a farm road 30 miles away. Or if you want to come back to the ranch, you just keep walking west. <laughs> In the Army, we used to call this conditioning. <laughs> TV Land. I want you all to synchronize. So, Rudy put the description on the NCIC wire and we're waiting for an answer. What do you think you'll find out? Well, if the gun's registered to Lawson, we'll pick him up. Did you reorder on a teletype paper? Teletype paper? Yeah, last week there's only one or two rolls left. Didn't any of you think to reorder, did you? I'll write it down here. Blamed office is going to hell in a handbasket. I can't see that. Read it for me. What does it say? It says you've been talking with the thing in your mouth. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello, Arlo. Rudy. Yeah, Rudy. We got a return of that number Sam phoned into Stone. KL five nine four zero zero is the main phone at the Rafelson Ranch. What would the Rafelson place be doing involved in gold shipping? I mean, the man owns half the San Damien County. Uh, how's J.J.? Well, he's chipper as a bull cat in tall grass. Hey, I'll see you in about an hour, okay? Right. Bye-bye. I used to stop in out there before the old man died. That's the tenth biggest... That's the tenth biggest spread in the Southwest Territories, you know that? Yeah, I knew it was big. Run cattle, don't they? I used to, I hear they're down to 30 or 40 hands. They run a few hundred head of Santa Gertrudis and Charlet. You know, there's been talk about gold on that place for years and years. Yeah, talk. That's all it was. The old man, his daddy, spent about $2 million trying to find it. He's a stubborn old cuss. <laughs> the whole ranch is potholes for him digging for it. <laughs> you know Packard? Sir Packard? Yeah. No. Sam talked to him some before he went off to San Damien. Well, give him a ring on the phone. Might not hurt for you to go over there and spend a couple of days in their office. Anything would be better than you staying around here eating up my candy. 
if you can look past kind of heavy hips. She uh, was crazy about the sheriff there in Madrid. A really handsome guy. Would you believe it? He wouldn't give my friend a tumble. The sheriff I'm speaking of. Is that a fact? I visited her on the way up here. When I saw him, I told her to dig in and hang on. He was worth it. Still no tumble. Do you want a ham sandwich? Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you. Yeah. I thought I'd know where to find you. One of Maury's cute tricks. You're kind of lucky, actually. If he didn't buy your pitch so far, you'd be pushing up prairie grass somewhere. Did he say you needed a little conditioning? Yeah, as a matter of fact, those were his exact words. A great joker. Did he give you his famous my land, my operation speech? <laughs> yeah, he got around to that. He almost makes you believe it. He believed it. Is he getting to you, Sheriff? Look, what's the pitch, Judy? Why haven't you told Maury? About you? Yeah. Hedging my bet a little. You were sharp enough to let them catch you. Maybe you're bright enough to uh, beat Maury at his own game. I doubt it. I've got to build up a little credit here, just in case. I've got to figure you didn't come in here without being backed up. You didn't come in here cold, without the cavalry stashed over the ridge. Oh, I'm backed up. I hope. You know why I'm here. You know what I want. I want to know about the organization. I want to know about the top man. I can't tell you that, Sam. A girl's got to take care of herself. Let's look at this thing realistically. They might kill you. Yeah, Mark. Any sign of him? Not yet. Yeah. Take a jeep and go get him. Okay. ranch number, so Sheriff Packer gave us a go-ahead to send out some patrols. Yeah, how's J.J.? Real good. Doc's real pleased. He's already setting up giving orders. Oh, that's great. Uh, listen, I'm in a kind of a spot here. I uh, had to come up with a name as a convincer, so I I mentioned Ole Myers. Myers? Will he back you up? Yeah, well, I got his son out of a jam while he was in jail, so he owes me a favor. Okay, I get to Myers yeah. and tell him to give out some no, no, there's just one thing, though. Myers is on parole. You're going to have to get to him before they do. I'll get right on it. Any progress, Sheriff? Well, they're mining gold around here, that's for sure. So, Captain Back must have found what Rapelson couldn't. Looks like it. Well, what about his, what about his partner in L.A.? No, 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 no chance there. You know, the, our best bet is to uh, force him into making a deal, you know. Sam?
Welcome to the home of everything television. I agree 100%. Well, this guy Stone said it himself. Lean on Lucas heavy enough, he'll crumble. Uh, Stone's just the opposite. He's a guy with guts, you can't put him down. He's got a legitimate cover. Larceny in his blood. That's a great combination. We can use him. Uh, once he's paid his dues, like you say. Yeah, she's right here. Oh. Hello, lover. How are you, Judy? Well, this place doesn't exactly turn me on. These antiques are fine. What are you going to do with them of an evening? We'll have to fix that. Is Maury tending to business? Oh, yeah. He's a little beaver. What's your estimate of Al Stone? He's a pretty sharp guy. Which is something new and interesting around here. Well, we'll have to suspend judgment, won't we? Until we hear from this Myers. and find you? Oh, nobody found me. Why? You have a nice walk? <laughs> yeah. Myers, huh? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine, thanks. says you're a crook. <clears throat> Look, I'm getting a little tired of these games you're playing. We can make a deal. My deal is with the top man, you know that. No sweat, it's all arranged. He says you can become a member if you're willing to pay the dues. My price is still 25000 all arranged. Yeah. What's the dues? Cat and bar. Well, what about him? Oh, come on, Stone. You're the one who pointed out he was a cookie. We agree with you. My man will fly in here tomorrow morning. He's got his own plane. He'll have your money. We'll meet him at a place we got picked out. You, me, and Lucas. You'll have a gun. When I say so, you take him out. Lucas? Uh-huh. Shoot him? Right. You, you want me to kill him? That's it, Stone. That's this year's dues. Credit's going up in smoke, Judy. What's happening? Well, Maury's got it rigged for me to shoot Kettenbach. Well, well. Mm, well, well. A man's flying in this morning. We're supposed to meet him someplace. And when I get the word, I, uh... <laughs> I shoot Kettenbach. How about that? Well, suppose you don't. Well, then they'll still take him out and me. You know, a shootout between the witness and the suspect. What could be more logical? How are you going to get out of it, Sam? I mean, how am I going to get out? How, how are we both going to get out of it? I mean, you'll be in worse mess than me. Yeah, criminal conspiracy. Accessory, maybe. Or you, uh... You could be a hero and... Where are they having a meeting? Where, Judy? I don't know. The mine, maybe? Get word out if you can. What's going on? Oh, uh, well, I'm just trying to balance the books. Come on, Stone. Just, uh... <clears throat> Don't say a word to the man and I'll owe you, okay? I got an instinct. I got this feeling inside. I, I got an instinct. Tell it to the boss. Yeah, well, I will. Why is he stopping there? Make it count. Well, that 
That's Rafelson. Yeah, Rafelson. Surprise. Gold's worth a lot more on the open market than the $35 an ounce the U.S. government will pay. He'll wait by the car. He expects the shot. No tricks. You're covered. Lucas! Lucas! You'd be on your way to Phoenix by now. Run? Uh-uh. Have to look at this from the shrewd side, Sam. There's gonna be a trial, right? Yeah, right. And a judge? And a witness? That's you, Sam. The witness. This way, look at all the good things you'll be able to say about me. Hey, come on, it's gonna be a groove. Do you wanna drive me back? Why not? small for me, but I'll try. <laughs> I'll sort it all out. I know exactly what it does. Up next in TV Land, Pro Football Hall of Famer Dick Butkus guest stars on Emergency. Don't go away.